Well, hey guys. Okay, so I've mentioned this on multiple of lives. I've done cash apps. I've mentioned this before um, that I am offering or have a promotion for readings. Okay, and this is going to be a general reading with love and um, your finances. Um, all that information is going to be in the description box below at a really nice price. A lot of you guys um, have been asking if I was going to have something with both love and finances. And so that is what I'm about to um, basically promote. OK, so when you guys see this video, all the information should be in the description box below. The pricing, make sure you guys read everything in the description box, because even after you guys pay, you do have to email me and I will let you know from there what's what's going on. OK, but yeah, but that that's the offer that I'm giving out for a general reading at a very nice price. And if you guys are interested, you guys can check below. All right. Have a good one, guys. I love you as always. Bye. Well, hello, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Taurus, this is going to be your love reading. We're going to go ahead and start with some oracles. I'm doing it different with each reading. I'm going to go ahead and start with some oracles for you just to see the situation, okay? So let's get into it. This is for Taurus. Taurus. Wow. Okay. You had two that really flung out there. You have, ooh, paralyzed by love, fear of falling in love, and boundaries. I'm going to get to this. I'm pretty sure I already know what this means. Okay. Mm. Some of you guys have a secret stalker. <laughs> Some of you guys have a secret stalker here. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get the last one. This is for Taurus. Right, okay. Oh, you got runner. <clears throat> and then at the bottom of the deck, you have dry spell. Oh, at the bottom of the deck is technically, I mean, it's not necessarily right now. It is, but, you know, some of you guys could have been in that place just recently where there was, you know, maybe you, maybe you want sexual abstinence. Maybe you're intentionally trying not to um, have intercourse with anyone you want a real relationship so you don't want it to be tainted by you know sex because sex does kind of you know it drives things a little bit further you're not in your right mind okay but I do see that and for some of you it's just been a long time since you've been with someone meaning that like you've been single for a very long time okay so that's a part of the dry spell now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I see here. Technically, this is supposed to be past, but it's not necessarily just past here. You have paralyzed by love and boundaries. That is what's showing up in your reading. I feel like for a lot of you, you were dealing with someone who's holding back, possibly not really wanting to be in a committed relationship. Um, some of you were... You had problems with boundaries because boundaries is here. Like some of you guys had problems with boundaries. Some of you guys, you know, you love someone so much you got taken advantage of. I mean, and that's truly what it's basically saying. Like a lot of you love someone so deeply that you could feel used now. You were taken advantage of. You feel manipulated in some kind of way. You didn't hold back. Right. And this is a part of the boundary issue. Like you, you didn't set healthy boundaries with someone and they took whatever they can, whatever they could take. They took your peace of mind, your money, your body, whatever. Right now we're going to get into the tarot. We're going to see how this is going to relate. But that's what I'm saying now here with not budging. I love this with you. Because if someone here wants some solutions or want to talk or whatever, here you're like, mm -mm. no, I've done everything I could for you. I loved you. Um, you know, I showed you that I loved you for years or months or whatever. And, you know, the person just didn't change. And so I feel like you're raising the bar. And part of raising the bar is no, not budging, standing your ground. <laughs> you're like, hell no. 
And if I have to go into a dry spell and be single, then so be it. That's where a lot of you guys are. And I love that because it really is a form. It's a, it's a form of self-love. It's a form of self-love. I feel like you are turning your back against someone. Okay, now, of course, this could be vice versa, where you're really like, oh, my God, I need to talk to them. I need to talk to them. And that person is like not budging at all. They don't want to. I feel like they've had it. This is what they're basically saying. Talk to the hand because the face don't understand what you're saying. Stop. Red light. She has on red. No. Someone could be very angry about what has occurred. So, yeah, I do feel like at one point someone fell really hard and. You know, when you're, you can be a fool in love, but then after a while you open your eyes and you see clearly. And that's what I'm saying here. Now you have unlocking here. I feel like this is you opening yourself up to new people because that door before was closed off to other people. I feel like your person, for some of you, if this was in reverse, let's say your person has been trying to get you to commit. I feel like your person may be opening themselves up to other people. I know that's a scary thing, especially if you want them around. But the truth of the matter is someone here is. That's That could have been part of the blockage. And whatever blockage was there, that's going to be completely removed and, you know, taken out because it says love is coming. And I feel like for a lot of you, it's a new person. But, you know, that's your solution. The solution is new people coming and, you know, completely removing people or opening yourself up to someone else. Okay. Now you have a card here that says runner. Again, you guys are running away from the people who have been keeping you locked in. Um, and I just think, I think you're trying to ignore the person who wants you. The tables really have turned here because I really do feel like um, someone was not wanting a real connection they and some of them may still not want it please don't chase anybody please don't run after anyone or chase anyone because i feel like you're going to end up <laughs> getting the same the same answer that you did before okay but i feel like this is you running away from the person who has kept you you know locked up in the castle so to speak for a very long time okay now we're going to go ahead and use some cards to clarify this, Taurus. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you. This is Taurus love reading. Taurus. You have the seven of swords and you have the strength card. Oh yeah, they were resisting. There's other people always involved here, always. I, I just feel like the problem before was the fact that someone fell hard for someone who was not ready for a committed relationship. Somebody wanted to always have a good time too. So you could have been, the, you could have been a good time for this person. Maybe there wasn't any history. You could have been just a good time. You found that out. That was very devastating because you really liked this person. But remember, I said that you felt used Right? They were telling you everything that you want to hear. Doing all types of stuff to get you to talk to you and to be around you. And then they got it and they left. So you do feel deceived. You do feel used. And some of you are still sitting in those feelings, still sitting in that emotion. I will say it's not even worth just constantly reminiscing about. Like if they, if, if that's what they did and this is a part of a mistake that you made or a mistake that you fell for, it's okay. I mean, it happens to most people. But don't sit in that. But I do feel like for a lot of you, you do feel used. But that's, again, that's a lesson, you know, set boundaries. Be open to the person in the beginning about what you want, right? You don't want to be, you know, friends with benefits or keeping it casual. Because for some of you, you say you want to keep it casual, and then you keep it casual and they're like, oh, you give them, a, you literally give them a pass to play you. So be true to yourself is what the Seven of Swords is basically saying, right? Now, they may still try to come back in here and get some, but now you're going to have to stay on your ground and tell them no. So let's go ahead. Let's get the not budging. Like, no, like, don't give in. They may be sexy. Yes, they may be good looking. Yes. <laughs> but don't give me a yeah look at them look at them here oh i see somebody coming coming in hard honey somebody is coming in strong baby 
Mm -hmm. Y'all are going to have to really resist because they are coming in hot and heavy. Hot and heavy. Some of y'all really are good. I mean, a lot of y'all are really good looking and you got a lot of different people who are really trying to get a piece of you. And maybe you just want your peace of mind. You don't really want to be dealing with people right now because there's so many other things that you need to get done. And you got one person calling you today. You got another person calling you tomorrow. You got this person in your inbox. You know, you just got a lot of different people who want to be around you. But what are your goals? You may not want to be distracted by love right now. And then for some of you, again, like I said before, there's somebody in particular that's like, I want to come and see you. I want to be with you. I want to, you know. Make sure you are, you make sure you clearly explain to this person what it is that you are wanting. Don't try to clean it up because you're afraid that they're going to leave and they're not going to like you. They're here. This will be a good time to just let them know what this is about. A lot of you guys have so many different people you're going to be talking to or dating. This is another scenario. Don't expect for those connections to move, to go anywhere anytime soon, which is the reason why I keep saying, you know, make sure you set boundaries and stuff. Because I don't know, I feel a lot of energy around you where a lot of game playing. I'm not liking that. Not really liking it. I'm just going to be honest. Let's see who's going to come out, out, you know, if there's anyone of, of value coming up in here. Some of you guys are going to get a new home. There is someone of value coming up in here with that four of wands and that queen of pentacles. Look at that. There's different people that you're dating, but there's somebody that's going to come in here. Ooh, I love it. Very healing connection. I like this so much. This person technically, this person technically has the ability to change your life. This person can change your life. That is how powerful they are. They are. That's how their energy is. Let's go ahead. This is why it's good to open up to new people. This is a really good connection here. Can I tell you some of the signs that I'm seeing? I see Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Let's get Runner. Yeah, somebody was only coming in here for the ass, babe. <laughs> so you got a lot of people who come, hit it and quit it. Listen, look at this. And it's more than one person who's like that. Please just be careful. Taurus, there could be another Taurus who's doing this as well. But Taurus, please be careful. Some of you Tauruses are doing this as well. This could be vice versa because I see some of y'all doing that. Y'all are running up in people or, you know, opening yourself up to people. And it's just things that you may want from them, Right. But there's really no love there. There's really no love there. Some of you guys are doing this because you still love somebody from the past and you can't get over it. So this is a way of you distracting yourself. But I do see a lot of sexual energy with a lot of different people. I, that's what I'm saying. Hit it and quit it, baby. Energy all up in here. And Tauruses, I'm telling you right now, be careful with these type of people. Because they just feel slime ballish. There is a person who's going to come in here that is not like that at all. But you see the reason why you could be like, well, how will I know? How can I tell the difference? The first two cards, set of cards told you. First, do what? Set healthy boundaries. Be open and let them know what you are, what you are wanting. The next card said what? Not budging. Meaning what? You can't persuade me to do something that you want me to do. That's not what I'm on. And when you actually set those type of boundaries, the person respects you. Okay, you want love and affection and attention just like everybody else, but you do not have to fall for someone's tricks, right? Because I'm telling you, it is so much slime ball energy here. Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. 
But there is definitely somebody that is going to be so worth it. I'm telling you, it's all up in your reading. What does a uh, Taurus person, and you guys could be friends. You could be friends first. Interesting. I split, I was trying to pull the deck over here and it showed friends. Okay. Now, um, Taurus person of interest, no matter who they are, what do you want to tell Taurus? Taurus person of interest. What do you want to tell Taurus? Taurus person of interest. What do you want to tell Taurus? We'll take it. You don't see this coming, Taurus, they say. <laughs> you don't know that I like you. You don't know who I am, but I am going to approach you and it's going to be so unexpected. Someone from your past says that they want to surprise you or that they will be surprising you here. Mm. There's a th I told you there's people everywhere here. Got a third party energy. So you got somebody in your reading. I did not tell you that slime ball. I told you I don't like this. Ah! Okay. This is something like somebody, somebody, you're going to get angry. Because some of y'all are in a connection with somebody right now and you may not even know. You may not even know that this person is doing that. And that's going to come as a shock to you. You're going to be like, oh, really? Okay. Work could be also the interference. Work could be the interference here. And some of you guys, just in general, you're like, I'm not getting any attention. Like, I'm not saying that you have to be validated by somebody, but you really do want their attention. And I feel like there's, it, it may, even if it's not like an actual person, I feel like your person may put so much attention on their work and their job. You may feel like they don't even care. So that's for like, you know, but that's not everybody. Because again, the shocking thing is really going to be someone who you're going to meet that you don't, ex you don't expect. Because we really do have a beautiful energy here. Okay. But that's what I have for you here. Taurus, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys back here again soon. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that is below. See you guys later. Bye.